Mark off your length of barrel. I'm using 8 inches of CPVC and mark it with a pencil or something and it helps to use a 3D ruler when measuring any pipe and then just cut it off. Cut off two of those or more if you want to make one with more than two. Then deburr the ends if necessary. Now the way a speed loader works is you have them glued together like this so you can just stick it in your barrel and then pull it out and stick it in. But of course you'll need to have enough room on here, the part that sticks out so that you can actually get it in. So make sure to mark off how much room you need and allow for just a little bit extra. And if you're just using a CPVC connection, you can just go on to the next step. But if you're using a PVC connection, then you'll have to hammer each one of your barrels into a segment of one half inch PVC, but make sure you leave enough PVC in this section of it so that it can glue together. To hammer your CPVC barrels into one half inch PVC, you're going to want to protect your work surface with something like this piece of wood right here, and you're going to want to chamfer the end of this like this, or use a knife or scissors or Dremel to get your barrels a starting point so that they can be pounded in here and then whack them in up to the flat end of it. You can hold a piece of cloth or a paper towel over the end of your barrel while you're pounding also. Make sure that it doesn't damage your barrel. And then making sure you have enough room on this end and making sure your PVC parts are flat on the table. Hot glue in the gap. Like this. You can hold it together until it dries a little bit and then once it's dried, flip it over and do the other side. And then you can wrap e-tape or duct tape around them if you want in sort of a spiraling fashion. That adds extra stability. It's optional though.